Hello everyone, Shabbat Shalom. I'm very excited for you guys for this gathering. And I want to thank Lisa and Jack for hosting you. Uh, Lisa Mazaltov, I know it's your birthday today, it's your April birthday. So lots of success. Uh, but definitely you guys are going to have a, an amazing experience. Um, this type of gathering, even though it's social and weird uh, eating and everything, but every spiritual connection is actually involving that, involving the unity of gathering of people from all kinds and joining together. Uh, Shabbat is a time where we actually all can be in a unified force Shabbat, it's the, it's the moment when the Creator uh, decided to pull out from the doing, the physical doing of creation. It's more about now the, the time when we are charging ourselves uh, with this cosmic energy. And Shabbat, it means coming from the word the strike. To, to strike, it means that we no longer need to allow all our thoughts all our insecurities, all uh, the things that bothering us, uh, which are mundane on a daily basis, the worries of the week, we call it. If you go to school, if you have a job right now, whatever it is, it's the time that we are charging our soul with the power to be able really to manifest greater things for the upcoming week. And Shabbat, it's uh, divided to three levels and the first level starting in what you are doing tonight is called Friday night it's called the Kabbalah Shabbat when we're receiving the energy of Shabbat and it's considered to be what we call the left column as we know everything uh, within uh, spirituality Kabbalah is divided to three column system and now it's the the night is the time of the left column it's the time of overcoming, it's the time of increasing our desires, meaning that we are strengthening the left column system which is inside of us. The left column means uh, my ability to want more from life. I want to have more success, I want to have more love, I want to have the ability to influence and impact the world, I want to add value, I want to be able to influence um, we can increase that ability during the Friday night connection. And the second part of Shabbat, which if you have a chance to participate, it's usually when we get in touch with the reading of the Torah, and it's all about the ability for me to increase the right column. The right column, it's really the ability to share more in my life, to give more, to do more for others. Um, that's that's the right column, and it's the power of sharing. It's power of uh, reflecting back the light, reflecting what I got as a gift for myself. And the afternoon connection, which is called the third meal, the it's connecting to the third column. It's to the balance energy. It's the time when I can defy between good and bad. And I can bring it to a true understanding of something which is balance. We're all seeking for balance in our lives. Uh, and uh, that's, that's the main thing. In Kabbalah, eventually the goal is to seek balance. It's never to be radical to right or to left. To see that within the good, there is something which is not so perfected. Within the bad, there is always something good that can come out of it. And if I'm not reactive to everything that happened, uh, I'm, I'm balanced. And balanced energy is stable energy. It's something that gives me control. Now, this special Shabbat, it's related to uh, uh, our ability really to initiate something which is very special. And that's the evening of Shavuot that's going to happen just after Shabbat. And you will see that the word Shavuot, which is uh, one of the most important holidays of, of the year, it's actually as within it the word Shabbat, Shavuot Shabbat. And it's related because we've been counting seven different weeks be just after Pesach, where it was the ability really for us to earn our state in having revelation of wisdom. Wisdom, it's one of the most important 
things that we want to achieve in life. Because when you have wisdom, you know exactly what to do. You know what decisions to make. And, and Shavuot is the time where all the wisdom, all the clarity is being downloaded. It's the time when we harvesting all our fields from, from the fruits. So it's pretty much the fruit of the entire year, a process that started in Rosh Hashanah. Can you imagine? Six months later, now it's a true harvest. And now that was the time when the, uh, the Israelites brought all the first crops, the first fruits, the, and they brought it to the temple as a giving, as a, as a sacrifice, knowing that, understanding that everything that we have is coming from the divine. Our talent, our energy, our blessing, our sustenance, our abilities, everything comes from, from the divine. And the moment we appreciate that, the divine can even install within us even more greater blessings. So uh, this Shabbat is very special. Uh, what I think you should ask for from this connection together with all of you doing whatever you're going to do there, uh, connecting, having love and unity, uh, joining in happiness. One of the most important ingredients to, to bring the energy that exists in Shabbat is true happiness, true singing. So I hope you're going to uh, enjoy and sing together uh, and just wish for yourself that with this power of your connection, you'll be able to download much more wisdom to your life, much more clarity on your true direction, that you won't need to waste time on bad decision-making. It's not completely preventable, but I know that the moment we are connecting to the light force of the Creator, uh, the light force of the Creator can guide us and even curve our mistakes towards clarity, towards the right decisions. So this Shabbat is very, very powerful to open our hearts, to open our souls, to open ourselves to others, to understand that uh, we meant to be people uh, in community, joining together. This is how we really able to expose our strength to one another and to learn from one another. Uh, so I'm looking forward to... Uh, to see you uh, sometime soon when we're going to do another gathering of, uh, of communication and sharing some wisdom with you and having uh, some good uh, vibes and fun. So I wish you all the best and thank you again for our hosts, uh, Lisa and Jack. Have a Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. All the best.